it's, it's very, very important because uh, uh, we, we are competing with other countries that are also commodity countries. And, and there's, uh, uh, their current currencies are competitive. And uh, we can have a debate or an argument as to what is the appropriate exchange rate for the uh, dollar rand exchange rate. Uh, but I, I have no doubt that uh, long term, uh, the country, our, our currency, in fact, must, will have to considerably uh, reduce in value in comparison with where it is now. It's, uh, it's, it's, um, I, I don't think a strong currency long term is, is in the best interest of our country. But whatever the exchange rate will be, I, I, with respect, I think it's something that must be determined by the market. Electricity prices are a very growing concern in South Africa. Uh, Eskom has now revised its uh, tariff increases to 35% for the next three years, and that's from 45% initially, but still a very big blow for uh, industries out there. Do you think that it's viable to have electricity prices at those levels going forward? And what is African Rainbow Minerals going to be doing to try and mitigate that extra cost every year? There are various initiatives that um, we've undertaken over the last few months, and, and I I've been exposed as well to uh, various initiatives that the mining industry as a whole is, is implementing that are aimed at uh, uh, making sure that the, the increase in the costs of electricity do not have a fundamental impact on uh, profitability or even on the continued, prof uh, continued sustainability of their businesses. Uh, we have for many years had a, a cost of electricity that was recognized at glo you know, by global terms to have been uh, very competitive. And uh, without a doubt, the new increases have compelled all of us to go back and, and to review. Uh, but you know, over the years, there's been some discussions about introducing competitors to, to ESCOM. And, uh, it, in many parts of the world, you do have these independent power producers. Uh, I don't know at this stage as to what, uh, how competitive. And in fact, uh, the information I received in the past was that because ESCOM was so cheap, uh, it was unattractive for independent power producers to enter into the market. But uh, we have to look at uh, at the cost of electricity and and. Uh, mitigate those those expenses as best we can and we will do that. Copenhagen is currently underway and South Africa has pledged to cut back on its carbon emissions by 42% by 2025. Do you think that South Africa is capable of cutting back on emissions so extensively considering that we're so reliant on the mining industry and the mining industry of course is one of those uh, industries and sectors of the economy that contributes significantly to South Africa's growing carbon footprint? I, I think as an industry and as a country uh, we have a huge obligation to uh, significantly reduce our CO2 emissions or our contribution to global warming. And uh, I, I am aware that uh, there are various initiatives, uh, various uh, projects that are underway, and, and I think in some cases various studies. Uh, th th there's a huge commitment, and, and you know, as an industry, and as a company, we are committed to, to make our contribution. It's, it's very important long term. Uh, we do need uh, a planet that uh, uh, provides a safe environment for, I don't know, many, many hundreds and thousands of years to come.